Murderer. Torturer. Monster. These were the titles bestowed upon Zoltan Kuhl by the Horadrim. Though it cost them dearly, they killed the wizard for his crimes against nature and sealed his broken corpse within a shadow realm. It seems they were afraid he might return. Apparently he wasn't such a great guy, but he created this black soul stone, which seemingly is very important. Adria, do you have anything to say about this? You want to talk about him? Good! That's what I want to hear. Zoltan Kuhl. A legend. There is no doubt in my mind he is as powerful as the stories say. But for every bit of his genius, he was surely mad. He was obsessed with immortality and power. A madman. We would do better to leave him asleep in the desert than to call on him for aid. You have a better idea. I do not. It is merely a warning. So are we going to call on him for aid or, n or not? You have more to say? Yeah, tell me about what Tyriel just said. Tyriel said that Zoltan Kuhl could not be trusted. Is it wise to ignore the word of an angel? It will be dangerous, but you have faced great peril before. If Belial and Asmodan invade, you will have much more to worry about than a dismembered wizard. That's probably true. They are probably going to be more important uh, than, well, more deadly, I should say, than, than this wizard. Leah, what do you have to say about any of this? Tell me about Zoltan Kuhl. I don't like dealing with Kuhl any better than you do, but I see no other way. If Adria says we must, then we must. Uncle Deckard trusted her, and so will I. I don't know if that's good enough for me. Tyrion! Tell me about his death, apparently. That's all you have to talk about. Three hundred years ago, I selected Kuhl and six others to form the Haradrim. He was a great man who was driven mad by his long quest to hunt evil. Why did the Haradrim kill Zoltan Kuhl? He delved into powers not meant for man, trying to fashion an artifact that could fill his empty heart with the souls of angels and demons. The Haradrim had no choice but to slay him. The Order never recovered. So, this black soul stone, it can trap the souls of angels and demons and then put it in a human body? Interesting. Sounds, you know, different than the other soul stones, which of course were from Diablo. Well, Diablo and Diablo too. Uh, well, I'm not that, you know, cramped for room here, but I I'll get rid of all of these and I'll meet you when I've dealt with all of this. Dealt with all that and ready to move on once again. She's got my old amulet, but that's pretty much it. She's almost up to level 20. We will get there for her and then we can actually give her another ability, which I'm looking forward to. Let's head to the bazaar. Because here we need to find the Oasis Gate in the Flooded Causeway. Flooded Causeway, the sewers, again. I don't think there's anything more here in town. Um, so we'll just move on. I remember when Caldeum was the shining jewel of the East. Not anymore. I used to dream of It's time. disgusting. I've seen that man going in and out of the sewers. You never can tell with those types. How are you doing, ladies? Fine, let's head into the flooded causeway. They saw me going in and out of the sewers. They love it. They know they do. Mm. I think we may have a visitor up ahead. What? We need to find the oasis gate. Uh, how you doing? People? There's people down here? There's like a little village down here! Including a merchant! I thought she doesn't sell anything that great. Yeah, just minor health potions. Whatever. Oh, lost satchel. Almost missed you. Tell me about Mephisto. He dead now. The evil of Mephisto, Lord of Hatred, was so pervasive that even after he had been defeated and entombed in a soul stone, his demonic essence oozed upwards into Travancore and corrupted the Zacharum priest. Though he fell to the same heroes who killed his brothers, I fear for us should he ever return. Travancore? That's what you go with, Travancore? 
I was like, Travis Hall! That's not even close. Uh, you and your names, game. The Emperor? What the hell? Listen to me. I cannot talk for long. But Lyle's guards are constantly watching me. Emperor Hakan. Forgive me for my behavior at court. The guards would have killed me had I sided with you. But I will help you now as I can. You must be headed to the Oasis. I can open this gate for you. Dude. So, the guards, they're not your guards? They're Belial's guards. Tell me about his plan. How did this all happen? There's little I can do. Between my advisors and the Imperial Guard, my every move and action are controlled. I have tried to fight back, but Belial's influence is strong. But now you've given me a chance. Perhaps my only chance. Freaking kids, man. Freaking kids. Uh, I need your assistance, I guess? How can you aid me? You're here to kill Belial, aren't you? I can help. You're a child. I can still fight in my own way. I want my empire back. I will find where Belial is hiding and deliver him to you. Damn. Okay. Sweet. Good job, kid. Why should I trust you? You tried to kill us. I told you it was not my choice. My every move is controlled and I'm surrounded by enemies. But I swear to you, I will help you. I will prove it to you. Oh, just not right now. So, I don't know if I can trust this kid. That, that's a good point. He did try to kill us by having his guards attack us. Of course, that was unsuccessful, but whatever. Into the ruined cistern. Hooray, more sewers. Let's just move on, trying to kill everything Look, just in our over path. There. I never imagined such a creature. Noxious guardians? What the hell is that? Ah, no. Get him. Ah. Only the most talented mages can summon skeletal guardians. It takes great power to form these tall, slim constructs from their unstable reagents. And even more power to sustain them. In the hands of a master, however, the guardians can become powerful weapons capable of defending their posts until the end of time. Right, the end of time. Uh, get, yes, get him. Don't stand in that. They do explode. Okay, what else do we got here? Once again, more sewers. Uh, I don't think these... Actually, I think these are bigger. Than the last ones that we were in. So, I don't know. I choose down. Another corpse. Uh, not... Nope. There we go. There we go. And... Oh, God. <laughs> Little sandlings everywhere. I assume that this way will just lead us to a dead end. There we go. Ugh, gross. Uh, no, Get, stay back. Stay away from her. She hardly does any damage as it is. As you can see, I'm doing what? 40 to 60. She's doing 6. So, yeah, she's keeping up with me. I haven't really equipped her with anything yet, but still, they they never really keep up with you. It's really about the, the status effects and that kind of stuff that they do for you in this game. It's not like the last one. Oh, we got archers, Borgaz, unspeakable terror. For whatever reason, the elites, even though I can stun them, I can't really bring them in. I guess that makes sense, but still. You know, I should be able to. No! God, so many of these guys. They spawn so fast. Okay, so if this keeps on going, the other way must stop somewhere. So let's head back there, and hopefully I can find another dead end, really. With a chest. A chest would be great. Or just a fortune shrine. That, that works pretty much as well. <laughs> Just about the same. Ah! Tell me about Bale. Bale was the most brash and reckless of the prime evils. After the Dark Exile, he was contained within the Herodrim Tal Rasha and entombed. 
Centuries later, Diablo freed Bale, who then corrupted the World Stone to devastating effect for the barbarians who lived near Mount Ariat. The heroes killed Bale shortly afterward. Like I said, heroes, always heroes. Uh, so, I don't know if Talrasha is one of the original uh, Haradrim. They, they haven't really gone over how long the, the Haradrim went around and all that kind of stuff, but Zoltan Kool was one of the original ones, and that was 300 years ago. I don't know if that means Deckard Cain was an original one, and he's been around for 300 years. Maybe they just all were originals, and they never, like, Got new members? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's the Oasis. I assume it's in one of the lore books, novels. I should say there's. Um... It didn't light up though. Okay, whatever. It worked. It and is so beautiful. And we have made it to the Oasis. We have made it to the Oasis. More lost journal. Oh no, we've read all of them. Uh, these things right here. They, uh, they blow up. So, stay away from those. We got Doom Dervishes again. We got Flyners. That didn't even see who it was. This will say it, though. To those who doubt my achievements in research, I present my findings on the Dune Dervish. It took me many years to find the truth of these strange, deadly figures. But my sources indicate that they are the cursed remains of mages who summoned a demon far beyond their power to control. Interesting way to look at it. Uh, let's take a look at what skills I have unlocked. I have gotten a new rune for leap, uh, launch, slow enemies near your takeoff point. Sure, maybe, we'll see. I'll never use it. Furious charge, I have unlocked. Uh, charge all enemies in your path and knock them down. It generates fury, but uh, it, we're never replacing revenge like that. Weapon throw did get a rune. Uh, increases the damage, which is nice if you're trying to get the achievements for, for weapon throw. Like, seriously, you get achievements if you beat enemies, big enemies, and devact enemies. Oh, this darkness makes me tired. I would think you have slept long enough. Ah, I was only jesting. Oh, no. uh, this place right here. Uh, occasionally a person will spawn right here and he will lead you in there. If you are looking to get to the bonus level, you will need to farm this area until you go in there because there is an item in there that you will need. That is a powerful foe over there. And that is, that is it, it's always there, that particular spot. So, if you're wondering where it is, it's in there, and I believe that would be for the Liquid Rainbow. So, if you don't have that, that is where you get it. I will go back and double check when I get to the stash, uh, but I have gotten a couple more things uh, from there already. And we get a Topaz! Very nice, I do like the Topaz. Uh, let's see, just a chest? Oh, I thought this was a way down. And another Chipped Emerald! Uh, well, I can't do anything with that just yet. We'll see about what I want to put in the, the helmet, but... Oh god, the grass is back! I love the grass! Ah, uh, look at it! Just, boom, just spreads so much. I think this grass is even longer than the other one, which makes the effect so much better. What do we have here? The ransacked cellar. So not going to be big, this one. Please, help! The Imperial Guards are in my home. You can't let them find what's in the back room. Then we shall bar their way. The refugees will make fine slaves. And you will make a fine corpse. And then they transform. Of course they do. They're Belial's guys. They're not the normal guys. Normal guys are off duty or something. You have done something truly noble, warrior. Let me show you why this room is so important. Oh, the liquid rainbow, by the way, uh, is a... Uh, is an enemy drop and or no it's a chest drop i think it's from a chest it's the weird chest the imperial guards were trying to take these refugees i did not know what to do you did what was right that is all that matters i could not the them. warrior my father was take whatever you want from his chests don't have to tell me twice so he doesn't have very many chests but he does have knuckles they always does akarat loves me 
I don't know who Akarat is, but he loves me. Nothing else in there. I can't even destroy the sacks. So let's just go back to the oasis. Uh, the yeah, the liquid rainbow I believe now is from the the chest. It's not an enemy drop. It's it's the weird chest. It's the only thing that drops out of it. Of course, that chest doesn't spawn every time you're even in that dungeon, uh, which once again is only in that one location. Uh, so it's probably easiest to start from the waypoint uh, that we were already at. And now we have fallen conjurers. They're jailers, which uh, I'm not really concerned about. Let's do more damage. There we go. Oh, thank you. Uh, you can't use Whirlwind at all while you're jailed. It, it says the skill is not ready, and that's what causes that. Get at least one of them. These guys jailing me and then running away because they're falling contrast is definitely annoying. Oh my god, die. What do you get? Fleeting Shine. Yes, thank you. Oh, I love this combo. You do the stomp, and then you do revenge. Hey, leveled up to level 20. So now we can give her another skill. Very nice. Yeah, that's my favorite combo is... Actually, probably... Well, there's still something else where, that I'm waiting for for that one, but... Yes, it, I, I, you get a system going. That's the way that I'll put it. And it goes... Uh, a shout... And then Ground Stomp, and then Revenge, and then Whirlwind. It's a lot of fun. I love it. Oh, those do disappear over time. Okay, let's take a look at what we can do for her. We can get Powered Armor, increases armor and slows attacking enemies for you and the Enchantress. Or reduces damage from range attack for you and the Enchantress. I want to slow my enemies down, because they keep on running from me. I practiced so long for that. Really? Because you just learned it. So why haven't you busted that out before? Oh, we have another special enemy over there, but you know, I can't really get him from here. So we'll just avoid him for now. Ah, stay away. There's a there's a lot of uh, like I don't know how to put it. There's stuff on the field that does damage to you. There's a lot of those as you continue to go through the game. Uh, that's the one for this level. And here we have Sokar, the Key Ward. I should... Wow, he does a lot of damage. But I'm doing just a lot. I'm doing a lot back to him. Stun. Yes, you can stun him. I don't care how big he is. You can still stun him. No. Whoa. Need to use a potion there. Don't like having to use it, but what are you gonna do? 